For three weeks, San Joaquin County's only trauma center has been unable to care for its most critical patients. Hi, my name is Jose Nunez. I'm a father of Jose. Including Jose Nunez's son speaking to the Stockton City Council and Mayor Anthony Silva this week. There's no trauma center, as folks know here in San Joaquin County anymore. So, San Joaquin General Hospital is under review for understaffing and redirecting patients to surrounding counties. CEO David Colbert in telling us trauma arrivals increased from 110 patients a month in 2013 to upwards of 200 this year. South Stockton and East Side residents are routed to Modesto and in some cases North Stockton residents uh, routed to Sacramento. That's what happened on October 4th. Jose Nunez was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting in front of his parents' Stockton home. The 32-year-old redirected to a trauma center outside of the county. We need the trauma center here. It's not working back because I always think my son could be alive. San Joaquin trauma patients are either transferred 25 miles away in Modesto or 50 miles away in Sacramento. It's too far. It's too far to take people back to Sacramento or either Modesto. Memorial Medical Center in Modesto confirming an increase since the change. Going from six or seven trauma arrivals in July and August to 30 San Joaquin patients so far in October. They closed the trauma center, but I don't want nothing happens to nobody else. I don't want to feel this pain. Until San Joaquin General resolves its trauma staff shortage, patients will continue to go elsewhere. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.